Hi, my name is Richard Walters, and in this demonstration, we're going to look at project costs. This will cover costs like resource costs, fixed costs, and other costs within Microsoft Project. In this demonstration, we're going to look at costs within Microsoft Project. Now, here we've got resources that have been allocated to tasks in Project. Now, majority of these resources are what's called work resources. So this is where the cost is coming from project at present. There's a resource I've got called consultant. Now, this is a cost resource. At present, there's no cost against this particular resource. So let's see where the costs are coming from at present. We'll check first resource sheet, see how the costs have been set up. So resource sheet view. And here's the costs against the work resource. And this is where the, the default costs of projects are now coming from at present, where the resources have been allocated. So project is now calculating the hourly rate times by the how many days the resources are working. So this is where project's going to get its cost from. But you can see then there's also other resources which haven't yet been allocated for these material resources. And there is a cost resource that's been allocated, but no cost is against this yet. So costs can be added to project in different ways, and this is what we'll now explore. So if I now go back and check the costs of project now, so I'll go back to the Gantt chart view. And to see the costs, it's just a matter of changing tables. So view tab, tables, cost. So with all the resources that have been allocated at present to the tasks, the present cost is 22,480. Now this at present excludes the consultant, which is a cost resource. We'll just look at this shortly. Now let's say I wanted to put a fixed cost against the HR induction. And let's say every time we do this task, there's a 5,000 pound fixed cost involved as well as the allocation of the resources. So I'm now going to put an extra 5,000 against this particular task. And we can see the cost now goes to 8,200 for the HR induction and 27,480 for the entire project. Now, let's look at now where the consultant cost is going to come from. Now, this is a different viewing project. This is, so we're just practice changing tables again. So I'll just go back to my entry table. You don't have to change tables to do this but it's always good to change tables for your own practice. So I'm now going to change the view of project to a view called task usage. And this is where I can now start putting in the cost for the consultant. And here's the consultant. There's one against first interview and there's one against second interview. I'll just do the consultant against the first interview. So the zero cost at present, I'm going to put in 4,000. That's the charge for the consultant. I'm going to see what's happened in project now and go back to Gantt chart. So we can now see on first interview, there's a 4,000 charge against the consultant. Let's see what happened in the cost table. And we can now see the first interview has now increased in cost as well as the total cost has gone over 31,000. So you can now see the, the effect of the cost resource. Now we're going to look at a material resource. Now let's say in this case, it's for the HR induction. We want to, we want to give people laptops for the HR induction and we want, let's say, let's say we want 20 laptops. So let's see the cost of the laptop per laptop. So I'm going to go and just change tables again, back to entry to get back to default. I'm going to go to the resource sheet view. And the laptops are coming out to £10 per laptop. So I now want 20 of these altogether. So the way I can do this is to go to the resource usage within project and the resource usage view to actually then tell project oh, I want 20 of these laptops. First, I'm going to assign the laptop first. So I'm going to go to my GAN chart. I'm going to go to the HR induction one. And I want the resource 
laptops. And there's one laptop by default. I could have changed the number of units to 20 here, or I can do it in a different way. So I'll show you another way we can do this also. So at present, I got one laptop. I'll change it to five right now so we can see what's happening in this field. And we can see laptops has now changed to five. There is another way of doing this. And this is through um, the resource usage view. And I'll just demonstrate this view. And it's the laptop again, which is here. And it's against the HR induction. And I want to change five to 20. So there's different ways of doing things in project. And this is just demonstrating it. I click OK. And I know that 20 laptops have been assigned to the HR induction. And I go back to Gantt chart. And now I can see the HR induction now is 20. Go look at the cost of that. Tables cost. And now we can see with the blue shading means there's an increase. That's now increased by 200 pound. So that's come from 8,200 to 8,400. And the total cost is, ad is adjusted as well. But this shows you how project costs work. They are in different areas, but the more you practice with project, the more you get used to where the costs are coming from. This completes the demonstration on project costs. See you in the next video.